Hi, I'm Joe Sorge, and welcome to the Family Law Report, where we examine the problems and challenges facing our family law system. Today, we have the pleasure of having Steve Erickson from Erickson Mediation with us. He's going to talk about resolving divorce and custody issues outside the courtroom. Steve, I appreciate you appearing on the Family Law Report. Good to talk to you, Joe. Thank you. So tell us what you do. Uh, I'm a professional family mediator, and uh, what we do here is to try to act as uh, guides for couples who are uh, divorcing or separating. We mediate their divorce, uh, usually in the same room, and we uh, try to use a series of interventions that end up making it much easier for them to uh, obtain a friendly, cooperative divorce. You're a lawyer by training. How did you get involved in mediation? I, I got into the field uh, somewhat by accident. Uh, I represented a woman in family court, and uh, it was a very bitter, devastating hearing. Uh, I was a young attorney, and about midnight that night, uh, I got a call from her mother saying Lorraine had been shot. Uh, we didn't know a whole lot about abuse in those days, and uh, I went down to the hospital, and she died later that night. The case had a great impact on me because I realized through that case and many, many other cases that by participating in the adversarial system, I uh, wasn't giving them much help. So I decided that I could no longer ethically represent one member of the family against the rest of the family. You mentioned the adversarial system. What does that mean? Well, uh, the adversarial system is exactly uh, what the word means. It assumes that people are adverse to each other. Uh, the adversarial system basically says you get two people who are in conflict, give them some advocates, and uh, let them each argue uh, for what uh, they think they should get. And the theory is, is that out of that intense arguing and negotiating and going to court, that somehow truth or justice prevails. Well, it doesn't. Mediation seems like a great approach, but as we know, it's not what most Americans do. Do you think that's because litigation is like the lottery? The system lets some people win big and other people hear about them and they get lured in? It's gotten too easy. The knee jerk, you're in trouble, go to a lawyer. You're getting divorced, go to a lawyer. He's not paying child support, go to the lawyer. We've almost become a nation that is uh, interested in uh, investigating, finding fault, and declaring sanctions. And we need to get to be a nation that says uh, the relationship is more important than finding right or wrong or winning or losing. So I think part of the problem is it's a cultural sea change that we are trying to effect. And uh, we have a fairly organized, powerful system. Uh, the Bar Association has about 1.1 million members. Uh, we mediators are kind of small and we're in the, in the woods here saying, hey, let's try to be a little more cooperative. And guess what? In our culture, if you're gonna be cooperative, you're thought of as a wimp. You need to be strong, stand up, fight for your beliefs. Well, not so, not so at all. We're, we're, we're really creating a framework where you have a better opportunity to make things better for yourself rather than being burned by the battle. Come on, Steve, that's not what I hear from other lawyers. Uh, I'm gonna play a short clip from our movie, Divorce Corp. U.S. lawyers and judges who profit from Divorce Corp will defend it. Family law is a great example of what government can do for people. We have the best system in the world in terms of divorces. So, what do you say to that? Don't we have the best divorce system in the world? The legal system, the adversarial system, asks all the wrong questions. The way it asks the questions, it assumes that somebody's right and somebody's wrong, somebody wins, somebody loses, somebody's a good parent, somebody's a bad parent when in fact it should be asking a completely different question. Uh, it should be asking, well, what are the future parenting arrangements that the two of you can agree on so you can both remain the good loving parents you want to be? Well, that all sounds well and good, but attorneys and judges can't make money if people compromise. What does the legal profession think of your views on mediation? Over the years I've been accused of being anti-attorney or I'll speak about reform and people <clears throat> say, well, I'm bashing attorneys. Well. I'm not intending to bash attorneys. Some of my very good friends are attorneys. I'm still licensed. I've taught for the last 18 years at the law school in town. But I believe that the adversarial system is the wrong place to put families. Families uh, deserve better than being told uh, 
uh, at the time that they're in the midst of a very large crisis, in the midst of separation or their marriage is breaking down, they shouldn't be told, uh, we need to prove that the other parent is a bad parent so you can have a relationship with your kids. Uh, going to court is a contest. Raising kids in two homes is not a contest, but we've made it a contest. Do you think the adversarial system has a long-term impact on the ability of parents to cooperate? I, I don't think I would have said this as a young lawyer. Maybe I wouldn't have even said this 15, 20 years ago. But everybody says, oh, those people, they're going through the divorce. They're crazy. They're, 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 they're just so angry. I believe that most of that anger, most of that craziness is generated by the fact that they're told by their attorneys or by the system to view the other as their opponent. And that's wrong. It, it, the, the mother of their children is not their opponent. The father of their children is not their opponent. They can certainly have some differences, but uh, we have to begin questioning whether or not it's time to move divorce out of the court system. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in part three of this interview. But first, in part two, we're going to discuss how our existing system conducts a profitable contest over who gets more time with the children. And this makes it more difficult for parents and children to resolve matters peacefully. I'm Joe Sorge, and this is the Family Law Report. Thank you.